Hey, 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 haven't done a toy hunt video in a long time. Well, there's many reasons for that, but uh, let's not worry about that right now. Um, one of the reasons, though, is because, again, nothing really new for Masters of the Universe. I am seeing some new stuff, though. We got uh, more of these Masters of the Universe style wrestling figures, so those are always cool to see. Not really interested in those, though. However, we do have some... G.I. Joe Classics. We got Dusty and we have Zarana, the sister of Zartan, who we don't really see that often, so that's kind of cool we get those. Um, I'm also seeing these Legend of Zelda figures, which are kind of cool. We got Link and Zelda there from Breath of the Wild. Very nice. Um, Nintendo's like re-releasing action figures is Samus. Very similar to the um, Nintendo World or World of Nintendo figures they did a couple years ago, which I have quite a few of. Basically, I, I sought out every single one that's not Mario. <laughs> like, I have Samus, I have the Star Fox guys, Splatoon, I have many Legend of Zeldas. Uh, I don't know why, I just, I feel like, I, I feel like I want to show some love to the, uh, the other series. Um, I'm tempted to get these, too. But um, they also have the Mario ones over here. Yeah, there you go, Mario. There's also Sonic in the same in the same scale. I'm sure that was intentional. Is this the same company actually? Does he? Jack Pacific and Jack. Yep, Jack Pacific. Okay, that's why. <laughs> Good work, Jack Pacific. You make quality products. Oh gee, look who it is. It's the Stratos and Jitsu figures nobody wants. Ugh. Yeah, Motu's not doing so good right now, unfortunately. I, I hear that you're not going to be able to get new ones until, like, the fall, which is a shame. Uh, also, someone mentioned to me that the Dungeons & Dragons figures were also available at Walmart. So I didn't have to go around like an idiot searching every target for them. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, good to know. Also, um, these are from the Dungeons & Dragons movie, Honor Among Thieves, which I somehow forgot about <laughs> uh, I've not seen the movie I've heard it's good maybe I will at some point but yeah there they are in the uh, closed boxes which apparently Hasbro is gonna stop doing already and they have the the dicelings I guess you got a dragon you got an owl bear and you got a beholder I've been playing Dungeons and Dragons so I know things now <laughs> cool all right um, yeah not much else to not much else to see is in Jurassic Park. They got the Ninja Turtles figures, which are cool because they're the old ones, but I'm not really too interested in getting these. They're actually colored differently. What's up with that? Oh, storage. It's the one where the shell opens and you can, okay. They had those back in the day and got these nice six inch figures from the, the movie and the cartoon series. Cool. And over here we have the Mario Brothers movie figures. These are pretty cool. Um, I might wait till they go on discount to get them because I feel like they're going to real soon. But uh, they're nice figures. Uh, one thing I noticed about them, the eyes are kind of weird. I don't know if you can see that. They're like sunken in with like a plastic piece of like clear plastic over them. Can you see that? Oh, that's strange. They're good figures though. Uh, I really like the movie. I, I did see this movie. I really liked it. I did a review of it on the main channel. Go check it out. There'll be a thing right there. You can check it out. Got some Pokemon figures. Some really cool Pokemon figures. I always like looking at the Pokemon figures. Got the uh, Luxio. It's not a Luxray though. I need my boy Luxray. Okay, well it's been a while. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and get some of these... G.I. Joe Classified, and you know what? I'm gonna get these Legend of Zeldas. And Samus, why not? <laughs> we haven't we haven't had any hits in a while, so uh, I'm getting this big old stack here and regret it later. But yeah, I don't know when this video is gonna come out, so uh, I guess this will tide us over until then. So uh, on to the next segment. I got a cart because I'm getting smarter. I am coming to you live on tape uh, with copyrighted music playing over me. I'm at an Ollie's for the first time ever. There he is, <laughs> John Ollie or whatever. 
I've heard a lot about Ollie's, but unfortunately, I didn't realize there was one in Florida. Well, there's a couple in South Florida. Uh, I'm at the one that's closest to me. There's one a bit further north. Maybe one day I'll make it make it out there. But basically, it's a um, it's like an outlet store where a lot of unsold items come to be sold for cheaper. <laughs> um, I'm in the hardware section right now because it's quiet in here. So uh, we're going to go take a look at the toy section and see what kind of stuff they have left over. So here we are in the toy aisle. Um, they got some newer stuff, actually. It's Masters of the Universe stuff. I didn't really see any Origins or Masterverse stuff. They got the, uh, the CGI show. But uh, yeah, this is a whole big selection of toys. Uh, we got Space Jam, <laughs> New Legacy for cheap, I guess. Man, I guess this toy line did not do do very well um got some uh got some star wars here look it's panda baba they have oh yep there's the other guy with his face covered by a price tag yeah look up the backstory of that character he's messed up um got wrestling figures got uh cars lots of car models if you like cars there's snake eyes Man, I hope I do not get in trouble for the copyrighted music. I might have to do some creative editing. Um, Jurassic World. There's Tomorrowland. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Reaction figures from Tomorrowland. God, how long have these been here? They're here on the end cap, they got a lot of Marvel figures. And it's all super cheap. I guess everything's like half off. Man, I wish I knew about this place a lot sooner. I would have come out here more often. There's some... Doctor Strange, they got Shang-Chi stuff still. So if you're if you missed out on stuff, I guess you come here. Oh my god, there's a Disney Infinity set. <laughs> wow. My god. This is like a graveyard for, for toys that never got sold. Oh man, I kind of feel bad. I actually didn't realize this is a plug and play machine. What what game is on here? Steel Cage Challenge? WrestleMania? Is that for Sega? Or NES? Huh. I don't know. wonder what kind of goodies we could find if we dig through here. There's a Pokemon. There's, um, more cars. There's a, what is this G.I. Joe thing? Hold on. Hold up. It's, uh, it is a not Lego set of G.I. Joe official, too. That's surprising. There's some more G.I. Joe stuff. This is, a like a little plane you can put together. I didn't even know there was merchandise like this that existed along with uh, Snake Eyes. <laughs> uh, poor Snake Eyes. We got some Power Ranger stuff. There's uh, Pixar, Rescue Heroes, uh, He-Man, more wrestling figures, dinosaurs, man, you can light years here. <laughs> I have a feeling more of those are gonna end up here at some point. <gasps> no way! Oh! Wow, I've been trying to find these forever these are the the re not the react the um die cast jada toys um nano metal figs of dungeons and dragons well, i passed on these a while ago and i regretted it but uh man th these sets are cool and it's even better for me now because i just started playing dungeons and dragons um originally 14.99 now 7.99 i'm gonna take this hell yeah I was looking around to see if there was other ones, but uh, I didn't see any more. There's a Transformer back there. There's a standalone arcade oh, for some for Fortnite. Um, oh man, that was a that's a good find. I wish I wish they had the other ones. Maybe I'll go check the other Ollies one day. Probably still be there. Uh, oh no way! They got the Ghostbusters, the um, the Bug Eye Ghost, and the Fearsome Flush. Wow. Well, I have those already. Unfortunately, I won't be taking them. We'll leave them for the next collector. All right, well, uh, I'd like to film more, but I'm on a bit of a crunch right now, and um, I uh, didn't see any more of these, but I will definitely be getting this. Um, maybe when I get some time, I'll do some more filming at the other Ollies that I know about. So uh, until then, uh, on to the next segment. Okay, it is a week later, and I'm at another Ollie's, one that's way more out of the way than the last one I was at. Uh, one might say a little too out of the way, but 
I decided to come out here anyway and have a look at what they got and they have a very bigger selection of toys and everything's a little more organized uh, the reason why I came is because I was looking for more of these but unfortunately they only have the ogre one I guess nobody really wanted this set my god I had no idea that there would be so many things here they even have G.I. Joe classifieds and they have Masterverse, Masters of the Universe figures. There's more down there. They only have Lady J, unfortunately. Uh, they have the Snake Eyes movies figures for five bucks. That's not bad. It's like half off. I'm sorry, what? Dot Hack, Dot Hack the card game? What, how old is this? My God, for 10 bucks, jeez. I forgot Dot Hack had a card game. Uh, they also have Masterverse stuff. Oh, not Masterverse Origins stuff. Uh, more Disney Infinity. <laughs> nobody wants. Uh, they even have Ghostbusters Afterlife. This, this is the place to come if you like missed out on a bunch of toys. Well, hold up, hold up. There was a Highlander card game. What do you mean there was a Highlander card game? How old is this? It always amazes me that they turn things into card games that nobody ever really wants and then they just yeah there's more of them no, nobody ever wants to play them and they just end up in places like this uh they have gi joe knockoff lego sets i've never even seen these before they have three different kinds tempted to get those maybe maybe i'll get those and do a video on them since the dungeons and dragons stuff is not here i'm very disappointed in that i was kind of hoping that I would find those there. Got Space Jam, got the uh, Gretzko figures. I see those at uh, Five Below often, and they have, I see a lot of the same stuff at the other one. Um, fortunately, this is not gonna be the only Ollie's I stop at today, so maybe we'll get lucky at the second one. There's some more uh, Disney Infinity, The Incredibles. That's a pretty good set. Oh, look at this. From the Netflix Little Prince series, or movie. I really like that movie. If, um, looks like they only have the girl. If they had the, if they had the prince, probably would have picked that up. Well, it's, it's two bucks. I'll think about it. All right, here in the next aisle, they got tons of board games, Monopoly, Mystery Date, whole bunch of stuff that I, I never, never even heard of. Upper Deck, Buffy the Vampire Slayer board game. What? They <laughs> got Office Space the game for six dollars. Huh interesting i might buy something since i came all the way out here and now we go into the girls aisle i think subconsciously i'm trying to hope that i see those dungeons and dragons <laughs> toys like put in the wrong place or something they have way more of these uh little prince action figures um looks like they just have the girl again look at this they have a ton of raya and the last dragon toys i've heard mixed things about that movie i don't know I haven't seen it myself, so I don't know. Uh, but it's funny, they also have Ralph Breaks the Internet. <laughs> also, my God, this is just like a... I think I made this joke in the last segment, but this is like a graveyard for unwanted toys. So I'm over here in the book section, and one thing I heard about Ollie's is the comics you can get are super cheap. Some of these are like 75% off. Look at, look at this one. Originally 25 now $5.99 for Batman... Uh, Earth One Volume Two, and they got quite a selection too. There's Batman, Justice League, Green Lantern, Thor, Marvel and DC, various things. There's more Batman down there, and the prices are insane. Look at that, four ninety nine for Preacher, if you like Preacher. Now look at this one. Originally sixty dollars, now fourteen ninety nine for the Spirit, if you if you love the Spirit. So, yeah, if you've got an Ollie's near you and you want some cheap comics, come here. They even have these uh, these mystery bundles of comics no one wants. Wow, Rom Space Knight, awesome. And uh, Sleepwalker, for people who remember who Sleepwalker is. But yeah, quite a selection here. You got all your favorites, Flash, Green Lantern, Guardians of the Galaxy, Aquaman, Inhumans, Marvel Zombies. You got these big books that are cheap. Uh, what's this? The Mice Templar? This looks kind of cool. Huh. I don't know anything about this one. It looks awesome, though. 
Oh, what is, okay, now I'm, now I'm getting sucked into this. What is this, weird world? What is weird world? It, it certainly does look weird. <laughs> weird world. Where everything is surprisingly normal. There's some Star Wars right there. There's a big old Batman book here for $12.99. Originally 50 bucks. My God. <laughs> I wish I still collected comics. But I'm glad I don't anymore because this would be bad. Speaking of bad, I'm going to go back to the toy aisle and make some decisions. I'll be right back. All right, people have finally cleared out of here so now I can film. So I'm just going to get this. Uh, don't be disappointed. Um, but uh, yeah, this is the only thing here that I really could have possibly wanted out of everything. I have all the uh, G.I. Joes and Masters of the Universe stuff they have. And they didn't have the other Dungeons & Dragons figure sets so um yeah this is the only one uh, i'm not really interested in the gi joe things but uh do not fret because we're going to be hitting up another ollie's on the way back so uh hopefully we'll get have some better luck there but uh until then uh see you on the other side okay well here i am at the other ollie's i was gonna be looking at and uh unfortunately not really much to say about this one. It's got they got a ton more of these, uh, more it's just more of the same, you know, Masters of the Universe stuff and Marvel and yeah, a lot of the same stuff we saw at the other one. Um, oh, they have uh, they have these, so that's pretty cool. The the Kenner re-release real Ghostbusters along with um, the uh, Afterlife Ghostbusters and a ton more of Lady J's. Which I already have. Oh, they also have one of the uh, the eyeball ghosts here. The other one had that. Uh, yeah. Not much else going on here. Just more more of the same. There's some more Gretzko figures, and uh, someone left some uh, Walking Dead comics here. Look at that. Two ninety nine for Walking Dead. Not bad. Well, I guess we'll at least look around see if we find anything interesting. Here's the board games they have. The Game of Life Jurassic Park Edition, which feels uh, feels like a bit of a contradiction, if you know those movies. Um, what is this, New York, the board game? What is this? I've never seen this before. It's like Monopoly, kind of, or you, just, you, build, you build the city. Cool. There's a Mandalorian, the oh, it's Trouble, Mandalorian Trouble. Sure, why not? What, what is this? What? What do you, what do you mean, what do you mean Titanic the game? What is this? What is this? Hold on. Uh, spoilers: the boat sinks. One thing I noticed about this place too—they have a lot of models. Like, look at this: the Civil War, 240 detailed parts. If only I had the time. Hold on, what is this? <laughs> Big Trouble in Little China. What, what is this? It's a game? It, oh my god. Big Trouble in Little Cooperative game based on the... It's a, what is this and how much is it? That's uh, 20 bucks. Originally 35. Hmm. I've never... I don't think I've seen this before. Huh. Yeah, pretty much the same thing in the girls' aisle, too. There's trolls, there's more Rhea, the last dragon. Uh, yep. <laughs> yep. Um, I was kind of disappointed, too, because this Ollie's I'm at is actually the biggest one I've been to so far. But it's like the size of a, like a big box store, almost. So I was hoping they would have a bigger selection, which I guess they kind of do. They just didn't have anything I was looking for. I will say, however, I'm very amused by a lot of the uh, the graphics they got around the store of uh, Ollie in different costumes and like weird situations. Uh, okay, that one's a little bit weird. Oh God! Oh, the puns—they hurt so bad. <laughs> uh, okay, that one's a little bit weird. Uh, okay, you know what? I take back what I said. Oh, uh, look. <laughs> uh, it's always funny to see those. Anyway, 
unfortunately, I didn't see anything else I really wanted or needed. And there's a lot of stuff here that I already have, just like in the last uh, location. But um, yeah, it was very fun checking out all these for the first time ever. Uh, maybe I'll check in every once in a while with the one that's a lot closer to me. But uh, for now, I am going to head off and head back to Target. So I'll see you there. All right, Target, please salvage this video. And here we are with more G.I. Joe classified. We got Courtney, Cover Girl, Krieger. Ah, Cover Girl. The most underappreciated of the, uh, the Girl Joes. And uh, Lieutenant Falcon? Really? Oh. Awesome. I didn't realize that he had a figure. <laughs> and uh, they also have uh, Outback, but in a different style from the, the Tiger Force. Uh, I'm going to pass on him for now. There's more Falcon behind it. And they have uh, Rikondo, but I already have him. Um, that's pretty cool, seeing some more uh, classifieds. That's nice. <laughs> And nothing, nothing else to report. It looks like the Mario movie figures are still not on discount. <laughs> so, not going to get those just yet, if I am at, indeed at all. Oh. Oh, really? Really? Oh, God. I'm so, I am so furious about that. <laughs> uh, maybe I shouldn't immediately jump on things when they hit the stores. Saved me a lot of money. What the hell is this? This is Karate Kid Power Rangers or Cobra Kai Power Rangers. It's Daniel as the White Ranger Ninja. That's kind of appropriate, weirdly. Even though Karate Kid was more of a grounded movie and not, you know, Power Rangers, but whatever. Ah, uh, look who it is. On sale even, and they're still here. Wonderful. Uh, they have this one, though, the uh, 2002 He-Man, which I already have. But, uh, yeah, not a whole lot to report with uh, Mo2, as usual. There's two bad uh, cool Ninja Turtles figures, though. Um, yeah, <laughs> same old, same old. This is why there hasn't been a Toy Hunt video in a while. All right, well, let's go take a look at the collectible wall, I guess. Man, this is a sad, tiny collectible wall, huh? Um, I mean, yeah, this is probably the smallest one I've seen out of any of the, any of the targets I go to. Uh, this is cool. Todd McFarlane's Dragons. Wow. I remember when the first wave of those came out way, way back. I had a bunch of those. Unfortunately, I got rid of them. Uh, not much else to... Uh, oh, what is this? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> it's so adorable. Uh, I'm gonna get you, or whatever, whatever beholders say. All right. Well, not much to say here, but uh, I'm gonna get my two Joes, my Lady Joe and my Joe Joe, and uh, I will see you in the next segment. Okay, I'm back, man. I cannot properly explain to you how long it was between now and the last video I shot. Uh, I had kind of a rough two months, unfortunately, and I kind of missed out on toy hunting, which means I missed out on a bunch of stuff, and a lot of Motu is now on clearance, so that's neat. Uh, I don't remember if I have this Beast Man. I will check. I'm not going to get him now, but I will find out, and I'll come back, but they have many faces. <laughs> I don't have him, and uh, it's on clearance, so I guess it's better than nothing. Oh, man, I have some explaining to do when we do the wrap-up. Hey, future Rob here. I'm back at the store because I don't think I actually have new Eternia Beast Man. I checked my bins, although I didn't check all my bins. Um, I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. If I'm wrong, I'll bring this guy back to the store. But uh, for now, I'm going to pick him up, and he's on clearance, so that's cool. So I guess for now, I'm going to get this, and I'll splice this in to the last clip that you watched. And we will now return to past Rob doing whatever he's doing god i hate that guy and yeah, not a whole lot to see as per the usual still see those mario movie figures they haven't gone to discount yet kind of waiting for that although they're probably not going to at this rate 
Um, a lot of Ninja Turtle stuff because of the new movie coming out. And they actually have uh, nano metal figs for Ninja Turtles for 20 bucks. That's not too bad. I'm probably going to pass on that for now at least. They still got these Stranger Things crossover Ninja Turtles. I still don't understand that crossover at all. And it looks like this Target moved a lot of their collectibles to the back wall. There's still the, the one all the way on the other end there, but uh, this has more stuff. They have those plush figures and that big soup of pop culture. I see, uh, I see Jason Voorhees, Mario, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, Rugrats. Uh, I kind of like these Chippendale ones. They dressed as Chippendales. That's cute. Um, that's Hello Kitty or one of the Hello Kitty figures, Bob Ross. Uh, they have the dragon from Dungeons and Dragons. Kid Ro I've actually been looking at the, uh, the Kid Robot Dungeons & Dragons toys. They're kind of cool. And you know what? I might get this guy just for maybe set decoration. Uh, don't really see anything else sticking out, though. And here's the other collectible wall. Uh, a lot of the same stuff we've seen before. Um, don't know why they split it, but I don't work here, so I can't tell you. Um, yeah, not much else to see. Uh, I'm gonna cut this one short actually because I gotta get home. So, but uh, I'm gonna get Manny faces and my red dragon, and uh, I think we're gonna do the wrap up segment because it's taking way too long. So I'll see you there. And here we are in the wrap up segment. My God, this must have been the longest toy hunt on record. <laughs> it's been so long that I I don't even remember when I started. I just kind of started and then I had to stop for reasons I will explain in a little bit and uh yeah uh this was supposed to be just a fun little excursion to uh Ollie's which was kind of cool but uh unfortunately I didn't get anything but we'll get into that and uh as a result I had to miss out on a lot of Motu stuff but uh yeah I will explain in a moment but for now let's go over the findings for this video uh, and a couple extra things there. You can see those. Uh, I don't even know if these. this is all the stuff I got, honestly. <laughs> I had a bunch of other things on this table and they've just been sitting here for months because of, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's just go through what we have. We're just gonna roll with this. So uh, we have the Legend of Zelda and Metroid uh, video game, uh, video game, well, yeah, obviously they're video games. The uh, Nintendo figures that came out. Um, they put out a bunch of Mario figures, uh, just like they did with the uh, World of Nintendo figures from a couple of years ago, uh, which I bought a bunch of, and I have them in storage. I was going to get them out to do comparisons with these, but I didn't. <laughs> so, unfortunately, uh, we're just going to have to look at these as they are. These look a little bit more articulate than those, so that's kind of nice. Um, I'm glad I picked these up, because uh, you can't find these ones anywhere as far as I can tell. It's all, mostly just the Mario ones. I think I think whenever Nintendo puts out action figures, people just grab them when they're not Mario. They're like if they see Zelda, they just they just go for the Zelda figures. And I do have quite a few of those in storage, but like I said, I haven't gotten them out. Uh, then we got a couple of G.I. Joe classifieds here. We've got uh, Cover Girl. We've got Lieutenant Falcon, Dusty, and Z Zarana. I almost said Zatanna. That's a different character. Um, don't know if I missed out on any of these, but these are the ones I have. Uh, speaking of missing out, here's, uh, the only two Motus I have, Masterverse Manny Faces and New Eternia Beast Man. So, uh, that's cool. I did miss out on a few of those, but, um, I'm sure they'll pop up again. I've seen, I've seen older figures pop up every now and then, and, you know, there's always stuff like, places like Ollie's, which I can check every once in a while. Speaking of which, uh, let's look at the meager findings from well, actually let's let's look at this first i got the uh, the red dragon from kid robot for dungeons and dragons because uh i play that now and now i want stuff for that um but these i got from ollie's i wish i had gotten more from ollie's but unfortunately they didn't really have anything else i was looking for so um except for these uh the dungeons and dragons uh jada jada or jada whatever that's supposed to be said nano metal figs which were really cool and i remember seeing these in the store and um, I remember they went on discount, and I passed on them, unfortunately. I wish I didn't, but uh, I did. Um, I had gone to a couple of Ollie's. Uh, Ollie's is worth checking in every once in a while, or at least the closest one to me. I went to a couple others that were 
a little bit ways out of my way. Uh, one in particular was another one, not too bad, but, um, yeah, I, the reason why I did that honestly was because I was looking for the rest of these. <laughs> I was looking to see if there was more of them. Uh, I have actually since, uh, got the rest of the set. <laughs> they, um, here's one of the smaller, uh, sets of figures. Uh, I have the rest in the other room. I might do a, a full video on these at some point. They're not, they weren't that difficult to find, thankfully, except for one set in particular. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that when we, when we get around to that, whenever we get around to that. But, uh, yeah, these are cool figures. I'm glad I picked them up. And then I got this one figure from The Little Prince, which is a book that I really like. And this is from the movie from Netflix that I really like. And there's a bunch of others in the set. I wish... Wish I'd seen more of these. Unfortunately, they only had the girl and the fox, which is cool. It's okay. I, I, the reason why I picked that up was because I, I like stuff like that for like set dressing for the main channel. Speaking of which, I don't think I recorded this, but um, I found these at a Dollar Tree. Little Wally -E figures. I like these little figures that the Dollar Tree has, and they're a dollar each. But there's quite a variety of them. I already showed off the uh, Masters of the Universe ones that came out a while ago. And, um, they have other ones for like Disney and DreamWorks and Pixar and Nickelodeon. They're, they're Power Rangers. I think they had Transformers ones. Probably should have gotten those when I could. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, this is the, uh, the findings for this set of videos. Uh, as you can tell, I'm, I probably sound a little bit off right now. I have been sick for like a month as uh, uh, we still don't know what I was sick with, but whatever it was basically incapacitated me for a good chunk of uh, the past month and a half or so. I, I feel like I'm starting to recover, but we still don't know what I have. Uh, I've been to the doctors. I've been given a lot of tests. We basically ruled out anything really bad. So that's nice. But um, unfortunately, uh, it basically ruined my life because I, I had to stop. I had to change my eating habits. I, had, I haven't been sleeping well. And uh, I have some medical bills heading my way, which means toy hunts might not be happening for a little while. Uh, or if they do, it's going to be very, very slow like this one was. Um, I don't think I'll stop, but I think we're going to be taking a little bit break. Uh, not just because of that, but because I, I've said many times before, I just certain things I've been looking for, I just haven't been seeing them. And honestly... Aside from maybe more uh, classifieds and uh, Mo2 stuff, the only things that I'm really, really waiting for are the rest of the animated Dungeons and Dragons uh, figures. There's, I think, three left, and I think they come out next month. I might actually just order those at this point. <laughs> so, um, and I want to do maybe a video on those as well. We'll do like a double uh, Dungeons and Dragons back to back video. That'll be kind of cool. It also give me a chance to talk about my uh, character that I, I play as. For those of you who haven't 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 been paying attention, I, I think I've only talked about it on Twitter and maybe on my gaming channel. But yeah, uh, it's been kind of rough the past uh, past two months or so. I feel like I'm starting to get out of the woods, thankfully. But um, yeah, it was kind of rough. Uh, I was basically bedridden for a while. I missed a lot of work. Uh, I haven't been doing anything for any of my channels. I haven't been streaming. Um, I basically just, ha I've, I've not been uh, feeling like I could do anything for a while, but, uh, this is the first video I I'm, I, I'm putting together since it's happened. Um, but hopefully, uh, things will improve for a little bit, but again, we're going to, we're going to have to be, uh, tightening our belts around here for a little, a little while, just a little while. Uh, so maybe I'll start doing uh, more reviews in-house with stuff that I have. And uh, I do have a couple of things that I got from thrift stores. So maybe there'll be a thrift store um, finds video at some point. But uh, toy hunts are uh, going to be a little bit more difficult. But um, hopefully that'll change sometime in the uh, not-too-distant future. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching these videos. <laughs> because, uh, again, it, it took me so long to make these. It's It's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, check out my other videos, uh, check out my other channels, uh, links in the description. Um, and, uh, hopefully I'll be able to put out content at all, <laughs> not just for this channel, but at all. Uh, yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please give me a like, leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys later.